Is it safe to live in Humble County? Well, it may be. It may not be. If you ask that lady from the documentary that said it wasn't safe to live in Japan or even go there, she might tell you it's not safe to live here either. The first nuclear power plant ever built in America was built in Humboldt County. Come on. Okay, you can't do that while I'm recording. No, no, no. no. He's got nuclear. It must be the radiation. Mama, mama, mama. Hey. The first nuclear power plant ever built in America was built in Humboldt County, California, which is where I live. And the reason that they built it here was to experiment. And that's the reason that Humboldt County is probably contaminated with radiation, because it was the first when? nuclear power plant ever built. They were experimenting with nuclear power here. They didn't know how to make it perfectly safe. They were experimenting with it to find out how to make it safe. So the things they do to contain the radiation in modern nuclear power plants well, they may have been experimenting with nuclear power to try to invent those things here. So, it's very, very likely that some kind of radiation escaped from the nuclear power plant, which is actually now decommissioned and spread in a circle around the nuclear power plant and ended up, like, all over a certain area of Humboldt County, probably within a certain number of miles from where the nuclear power plant was. And that's probably why a lot of people in Humboldt County get cancer. That's also why I don't drink the Humboldt milk. See, this is not Humboldt milk. This is not local milk at all, actually. It's actually from Boulder, Colorado. Hmm, Boulder, Colorado. And I also minimize how much of the local beef I eat. However, if you're going to eat a product from a cow, it's much more dangerous to drink milk from an area that's contaminated with radiation than it is to eat beef because the cow actually concentrates the radiation it eats into its milk. So the milk is much more radioactive than the beef. And then there's the missing nuclear fuel rods. Did you hear about those? Some of the nuclear fuel rods like went missing. There are some articles about the missing nuclear fuel rods. They never found them, unfortunately. So they lost some of the nuclear fuel and they never found it. And after spending billions of dollars looking for it, they gave up. So it could basically be anywhere, but it's supposedly like in the tank where the nuclear waste is stored. But they're actually moving those tanks right now they may have finished moving them. I know it was supposed to be a process that took a few years. They were moving them from underground to above ground to some kind of storage that was supposed to be more earthquake safe. But if they don't know where some of the nuclear waste is, then how can they know they're moving all of it or that it's really safe? It could be really dangerous if there was an earthquake here or a tsunami. And we have had earthquakes and tsunamis here in our history. We've actually had them here while I've lived here. There was a tsunami here a few years ago that a lot of people actually watched because they said in the news it was coming and people went to watch it come in. Is it safe to live in Humble County? Well, it may be. It may not be. If you ask that lady from the documentary that said it wasn't safe to live in Japan or even go there, she might tell you it's not safe to live here either. If you don't know what documentary I'm talking about, I'll show you a little video clip of it. You should watch it. It's scary. It might scare you, especially if you're considering going to Japan. Please don't do that. What would you be saying to athletes who maybe I don't go there? Can I say that you seem more worried than the rest of the world? Well, that's because I know more. This is a great video, and you people should all watch it. When I bought this house, I had to sign a waiver saying that I knew 
that the nuclear power plant was there and that in certain situations the radiation could be released. Like if there was a terrorist attack or an earthquake or a tsunami that was bad enough, the radiation could be released and we might have to be evacuated. Which actually is something else I should mention. In that situation, the government would be supposed to pay for our evacuation and make sure we were in a safe place and make sure there wasn't like radiation in our water or our soil or something but they actually passed a law that Obama signed that if there was any kind of national emergency where radiation was released they could then increase the amounts of radiation allowed in the water that people were drinking so say there was some kind of accident at a nuclear power plant and there's radiation in the water and it's really, really, really dangerous, they could say, well, we're going to allow more radiation than normal and we're going to say that this level that is actually dangerous is safe so we don't have to evacuate as many people or move people as far away because that would cost the government like more money. So instead of spending all the money to actually safely move the people, they're planning to just poison them. Or they're planning to allow for the possibility that they might be able to poison them if it makes it more convenient for them. And that's one of the horrible things that Obama signed that makes him a horrible president. But now that I'm done digressing about how horrible Obama is, I would like to mention one more thing in this rant, and that is marijuana which has been grown in Humboldt County for a very, very long time, since way before it was ever legalized for medical use or recreational use in California. And for a long time, marijuana growing was basically ignored and tolerated by the local government. And marijuana does something, which tobacco also does, which you should know about, which also makes me wonder. Marijuana is really good at absorbing radiation out of the soil. It's actually so good at absorbing radiation out of the soil that they actually use marijuana or hemp to clean up areas where there's radiation contaminating the soil. So I wonder if somebody in the government or in the Illuminati decided to allow marijuana to be grown here knowing that it would absorb the radiation and knowing that people would smoke it either as a way to just poison marijuana users or worse as an experiment to see what that radiation would do because that's what they were doing here in Humboldt County. They were experimenting with nuclear power to find out everything they could about it. You should go to Tennessee if you like it this high. And that would be... No AC. One of the ways to find out what it does. It would be a way to get it into people's bodies to see what it does to people. So, many people in my neighborhood and people who are friends with me or related to people who are friends with me have cancer. One of my cats had cancer. And many of these people have cancers in like many different organs of their body. And cancers that are spreading really fast or growing really fast. And many of them are having like really dangerous chemotherapy and radiation treatments that they probably shouldn't have because that's probably just going to kill them quicker and they'd probably be better off not having radiation treatment if radiation is what caused their cancer and probably be better off not having chemotherapy and they should probably just have surgery to remove any cancer that can possibly be removed and then go on some kind of diet to starve the cancer so it doesn't kill them. That's my advice for what to do if you have cancer. But regardless of whether they use natural treatments or diet or surgery or chemotherapy to cure their cancer or treat their cancer, because some of those things might not actually cure the cancer, they should at least try to figure out what is causing the cancer. So I think that everybody in Humboldt County who develops cancer should immediately be tested for radiation. 
why don't you see if you can find some radiation in that person's body because if there is radiation in their body it probably came from the experimental nuclear power plant that used to be here and that is the end of my rant I live quite far away from the nuclear power plant but close enough that I had to sign a waiver however certain people live right by the nuclear power plant or former nuclear power plant some people live like right next to it other people live where they can see it out of their windows if you are living in one of those places you really should move I wouldn't live that close I wouldn't even want to spend one night that close a certain person might have offered to give me their children's old clothes I may have Friend Lily said yes and never showed up to take the clothes. The reason is you can see the nuclear power plant or former nuclear power plant out of your window. So I am very, very sorry. I didn't take the clothes because I was afraid they might be contaminated with radiation. I'm also very worried about you. I don't think you should be living there. So if you're that person, please move. And I wish I had this waiver so I could show it to you, but I actually lost it. It's one of the important documents I need to find that was lost in the process of remodeling my house.